So have you ever been doing your extra places and seen the implied odds and thought, what exactly are those implied odds? Is it the probability of the horse landing in the extra place? Or is it something completely different entirely? Now, when I first started doing extra places and learning how to do them, I initially thought it was the odds or the probability of the horse landing in the extra place. Now, back when I was learning how to do these extra places, I was a little bit naive. I didn't really understand how value worked in terms of betting odds and stuff like that. But obviously, it isn't that. It isn't the probability. It isn't the odds of the horse landing in the extra place. So what I thought I would do, I thought I would make this video and explain exactly how implied odds work when you're doing your extra places. Are they a good thing? Are they a bad thing? Should you pay much attention to them at all? And a little bit later into the video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into a popular strategy, which is on Profit Accumulator's website, which is the value betting strategy, and explain why I personally wouldn't use it and why I think it's pretty flawed and it actually isn't positive EV. But we're gonna dive into that in just a little while. But first up, we're gonna dive over to the computer screen and look into exactly what implied odds are. Okay, so I've just loaded up the extra place matcher on OddsMonkey. Now, OddsMonkey, in my opinion, is the best match betting provider. If you do want to check it out, maybe you have another match betting provider or maybe you just start match betting, do check out the link in the description. I've got a free trial that you can use with OddsMonkey. I do really appreciate everybody that goes through my link and it does mean a lot. So thank you very much if you do want to use that free trial link down below in the description. But basically, we've got the extra place matcher up here on OddsMonkey. Now, we're, in this video, we're going to be looking at the implied odds section, the implied odds column of this extra place matcher. Now, the implied odds column is the third one from the right, so the extra place profit is the furthest to the right, then it's qualifying loss, and then it's the implied odds column, what we're interested in. Now, what you can do when you're on the extra place matcher, and probably when you're on the extra place catcher as well, if you're using Profit Accumulator, is you can actually highlight over this eye icon here, and that will give you a description, like a little synopsis of what the implied odds column is actually doing. So as you can see there, it says, these are the implied odds for the selection finishing in the extra place. Now, when I was first learning how to do extra places, this kind of confused me because obviously implied odds sounds like implied probability and implied probability is odds anyway. So I was like, okay, so are, are these actually the odds? for the horse landing in the extra place. Now at the time I was pretty naive and I didn't really understand value too well. Obviously it isn't that, it isn't the actual chance of the horse, the actual odds, the actual chance of the horse landing in the extra place. At the time I didn't really understand value, but it isn't that. So you probably ask yourself at one point or another, where are these implied odds coming from? Where are they being derived from? So what we'll do, we'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see it a bit better. So obviously on this top, top one here, this Walnut Beach, you can see the implied odds a 14.55. So you'll probably ask yourself, well, where, where does this number come from? The back odds over here are 17, the win lay odds are 18.5, and the place lay odds are 5.3. But yet the uh, the implied odds are 14.55. So where exactly is that number coming from? Well, basically, it's really, really simple. The implied odds is just your extra place profit, so your profit if the horse lands in the extra place, divided by your qualifying loss if the horse doesn't land in the extra place. So in this case, it would be £39.11, divided by £2.89, because that's a qualifying loss. So if we get the calculator out here, and we type in £39.11, that's the extra place profit if the horse lands in the extra place, divide that number by the qualifying loss, 2.89, click equals, and then once we've done that, all you need to do then is click add one, click equals again, and that will give you the implied odds. So as you can see, the calculators give us 14.53 and the implied odds are exactly the same on the extra place matcher or near enough 14.55 so you can see what it's doing it's taking the extra place profit dividing it by the qualifying loss and adding one to the total so basically what this is doing is it's telling you the amount of times you can get on the extra place before breaking even so if the if this situation on walnut beach all these numbers were the same this is telling you how many times you could get on it before you would break even now, if we increase the back odds, just as a quick example here, so they're at 17 at the minute. If I pop 19 into the back odds box there, and watch what happens to the implied odds column when I when I click enter. So I'll click enter now. Can you see the implied odds shoot up? And this is because the extra place profit is increasing and the qualifying loss is becoming smaller. So I'll show you the same example again, just to show you this, this, how this works. 44.95, which is the extra place profit, divided by... 1.05 equals and then do add one after that you can see we get 43.8 on the calculator and then 43.79 
on the extra place matcher in the implied odds column. So basically what you're looking at is the higher the implied odds you have, the better, the better it is, the better value it is for you. But you've probably noticed the higher the implied odds go, the rating also goes really high as well, and the qualifying loss goes really small. So if I bring these all the way down to 12, the back odds, can you see the implied odds go low, the qualifying loss goes high, and the rating goes low. So these three things, they're all working in tandem, and it doesn't really matter, essentially, which one you look at. They all work in the same way, and they all bounce off each other in the same way. It doesn't really matter which one you're looking at, whether you're looking at implied odds, rating or qualifying loss, they all work in tandem with each other. Now we're going to dive into the profit accumulator value betting strategy, what I touched on at the beginning of this video and just give you my thoughts on it and why I don't think it's a good idea to use a value betting strategy with the information that you get on the extra place matcher and their extra place catcher. So I've got it up in this tab here where they tell you how to do this value betting strategy. Now I'm not a member of Profit Accumulator and you don't actually have to be to uh, view this post it's just available on the blog page or something like that if you do want to check it out okay so this first section here what do the implied odds mean on the extra place capture that's basically just telling you what i told you there you take the extra place profit you divide it by the uh, qualifying loss you add one and it gives you your implied odds so that's what that section is telling you there but if you scroll down a little bit it tells you here how can we work out how likely a horse is to finish in the extra place in the race now this is where the value betting strategy that these guys have got kind of goes off the deep end a little bit at least in my opinion so basically what they're saying if there are 12 runners in the race this would mean that the horse that you're getting on has roughly a 1 in 12 chance of finishing in the extra place position and of course if each of the horses was exactly the same skill level exactly the same quality that would be true but every horse is different you know they like different goings the goings has to be different for certain horses you know there's different quality jockeys there's a load of different things which mean that each horse doesn't have the same chance of finishing the extra place. One horse might have this much chance, whereas another horse might have this much chance. And it can't be quantified using the extra place catcher or the extra place matcher. You simply don't have enough data to quantify that. And then they tell you the same thing here. If there are 24 runners in the race, this would mean your horse would have a 1 in 24 chance of finishing in the extra place. Again, it isn't true. Every horse has different level of skill i guess you would say and there's different jockeys some are better than others the going suit to certain horses over other horses loads of different variables to it and it isn't as simple as that it isn't as simple as saying each horse has an equal chance of finishing in the extra place so basically what they say is you take the amount of horses running in the race which you're getting on with the extra place so that would be 12 in their example and then you turn that into implied probability so you use 12 as a decimal we use this uh, odds converter here you turn it to implied probability and that gives you 8.3%. And then what you would do is you would take your implied odds from the extra place matcher or the extra place catcher, convert them to implied probability. So in their case, it's 23.69. You would convert them to probability, 23.69 in the decimal. And you can see that gives you an implied probability of 4.2%. Of course, that implied probability though is shorter than each of the horses, each of the 12 horses, which was 8.2 or something like that. And because that's shorter, and the uh, implied probability of the uh, 12 horses is higher, that will be value and you will get on it. It's flawed because each horse doesn't have the same amount of probability of fin finishing in the extra place. They all have different skill levels, and obviously it's not, it's not lineal, it's not like that. So for me, in my opinion, I wouldn't do the value betting strategy, which, uh, which is shown on this website here. I think this, uh, this is, in theory, this is flawed. It may work in practice, I don't know, never tried it, don't plan on trying it. But in theory, the, the basic theory behind it, it, it's flawed. So what I tend to do, and I've mentioned this in various other videos, I'm just there waiting, like a scavenger, waiting for the bookmaker to dish out some value, and I'll just be right there. As soon as they do, take the value, and because I'm pretty uh, confident with the betting exchanges, and I've got pretty good, uh, you know, ex built up a pretty decent bit of experience on the betting exchanges, and understand when the prices aren't going to run away from me. And normally I can smash in some pretty good extra places, doing it that way so yeah that's what implied odds are guys you just take extra place profit divide it by the qualifying loss and add one that gives you your implied odds they work in tandem with the rating and the qualifying loss anyway so i won't get too worked up about them they all work together in freeze and yeah that's pretty much how it works now, if you want to see more content from me guys hit one of the two videos when i'm popping up on screen now cheers for watching this video guys don't forget to drop me a like it's much appreciated and i'll see you soon in the next video